Hello, welcome to this answer explanation video from Classroom Secrets. In this video, I'm going to cover the Year 5 worksheet, Multiply Non-Unit Fractions by an Integer. I'll go through the answers to each of the questions and cover some of the things you may have found a little bit tricky. Question 1. Identify the missing numbers in the calculations. For question A, we have 2 something times 5 equals 3 something thirds. I know from looking at the pictures and the denominator in the answer that the denominator at the beginning of the question must be 3. The pictures are cut up into thirds and the denominator doesn't change when you multiply fractions by integers. So now I can do 2 thirds times 5 to work out what the missing digit is there. If I were to do 2 thirds times 5, I would get 10 thirds because 5 times 2 is 10. We don't change the denominator. I now need to convert that into a mixed number to find my missing number. So 10 thirds as a mixed number is 3 because 3 goes into 10 3 times with 1 third left over. So my missing number is 1. B, we have to do the opposite. Here we're finding the numerator and in the answer we're finding the denominator. But as I said before, the denominator doesn't change when you're multiplying fractions by integers. So if the denominator here is 9, it must be 9 here also. So now I need to think, what could I times by 8 to get 1 and 7 ninths? Well, 1 and 7 ninths as an improper fraction is 16 ninths. Because 1 is 9, add 7, gives us 16. If I multiply 8 by 2, that gives me 16. 2 ninths times 8 gives me 16 ninths, which is the same as 1 and 7 ninths. So the missing numbers are 2 and 9. Question 2. Complete the calculations and sort them into the Venn diagram below. So what we need to do is solve the calculations, A through to F, and place them in the correct part of the Venn diagram. Answers that are more than one go in here. Answers where the fraction can be simplified go in here. And answers that meet both go in here. So A is 5 elevenths times 3. 5 elevenths times 3 gives me 15 elevenths, which is the same as 1, and 4 elevenths. It's more than 1 and cannot be simplified, so A goes in here. B, 2 eighths times 3 is 6 eighths. 6 eighths is the same as 3 quarters. So B can be simplified and is less than 1, so it goes in here. C, 5 twelfths times 2 is 10 twelfths, which is the same as 5 sixths. So C goes in here. D, 2 fifths times 3 is 6 fifths, which is the same as 1 and 1 fifth. So D goes in here, as the answer is more than 1. E, 2 sixths times 2 is 4 sixths, which is the same as 2 thirds. So E goes in here. And finally, F, 4 sevenths times 4 is 16 sevenths, which is 2 and 2 sevenths. So F goes in here. Question 3. Eduardo is thinking of a non-unit fraction with a single digit denominator. When he multiplies his fraction by 5, he gets a mixed number. When he multiplies his fraction by 3, it is equivalent to 3 quarters. When he multiplies his fraction by 4, he gets a whole number. What is Eduardo's fraction? So we're looking for a non-unit fraction with a single digit denominator. So we'll have one digit down here and a non-unit fraction meaning this number is greater than 1. When he times it by 4, he gets a whole number. When he times it by 3, he gets a fraction that's equivalent to 3 quarters. And when he times it by 5, he gets a mixed number. 
The way to solve this problem is by trial and error, choosing fractions that you think may work. But the last clue is the main clue to think about. If I were to do 2 8 times 4, I know that 4 times 2 is 8. 8 8 equals 1. 1 is obviously a whole number. So if I were to do 2 8 times 3, I would get 6 8 which is the same as 3 quarters. And if I were to do 2 8 times 5, 5 times 2 is 10. So 10 8 equals 1 and 2 8. And that is a mixed number. So 2 8 is the answer. That was an answer explanation video from Classroom Secrets. If you would like to watch the video tutorial that accompanies this step, please visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. If you would like more resources on this step, please visit classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching.